Uh, Larry, you said Larry, that the, the Hebrides was one of your favorite revivals in history. Tell us why. It's a presence revival. That's what I love about the Hebrides revival. What do I mean by that? There is such a return to the presence of God. And here's the deal. The presence of God is not a feeling. It's not goosebumps. Although I've been in amazing meetings, meetings that have come out of Brownsville and Toronto, where people are overwhelmed by the presence of God. But when you experience the presence of God, as we saw in the days of the Hebrides revival, there was conviction there was a turning from sin, not because, and what I love about you, Jim and Lori, you preach the love of God, but you also preach the reality and the truth that sin, God is not okay with sin. God is not okay with sin because sin destroys us individually. Sin also destroys nations. And in just a moment, I mean, one of the things that I was talking to Mondo about is sharing kind of three prophetic perspectives that people are having right now in the midst of this. But I, I wanted to answer your question. The reason I love the Hebrides revival, it's a presence revival where people led by those two little old ladies who are kind of falling apart. I mean, they couldn't even leave their yeah. house. But let that be an encouragement to the people who are watching. They couldn't leave their house. So they decided to consecrate and give their house as a place where they prayed. And the kind of prayer that they use, I mean, I, I'm reading in this book, Revival Fire, it was called prevailing prayer. In other words, it was prayer that can, it persisted with God until they saw results. And as a result, they saw this whole body of like all these islands, the Hebrides islands being saturated in the presence of God, thousands, tens of thousands, maybe millions coming to Jesus as a result of that. And all because they experienced a visitation of God's presence. And I think Jesus is very serious when it comes to days of visitation. 